Tom Brady wasn't expected to do much at the high school level. I was the backup quarterback on a team that was 0-8. He wasn't expected to do much at the college level. There were seven guys on the depth chart when I got there. And he wasn't expected to do much in the NFL. Finally, when the Patriots called, I was so excited. Yet he went on to win more Super Bowls than any other NFL player in history. In this video, I'll cover exactly what Tom Brady did to go from being a bench player in high school to becoming the greatest quarterback in NFL history. But before I do, if you enjoy content like this, subscribe for more, and comment who or what topic I should cover next. When Brady was a backup quarterback in high school, he wasn't thinking about college. I didn't come in with the opportunity to play right away. I had to earn it. When Brady was one of the seven quarterbacks in college, he wasn't thinking about the NFL. He sat down right in front of my desk and he said, Coach, I'm gonna prove to you that I'm the best quarterback. And when Brady was the fourth quarterback on his NFL team, he wasn't thinking about winning the Super Bowl. I always wanna feel like I'm the best quarterback for this team. I wanna earn it every single day. And by putting his head down and focusing on giving his best every day, every practice, every game, every play. By the time he looked up, he was the greatest quarterback of all time. Most athletes think they need to set a big goal and keep their eyes on the prize. And while it's important to set big goals, you need to keep your eyes on each step that you take. Because if you're so focused on reaching the top of the mountain, you'll trip on the rock right in front of you and break your leg. So focus on executing each step to the best of your ability, and eventually you'll get to the top. Brady lives in the present on a micro level by concentrating on giving his best in each moment. When I'm playing football, I'm nowhere else. I'm in the present. And he lives in the present on a macro level by concentrating on giving his best in each stage of his career. You just keep putting one foot in front of the other. So when I look at over 20 years, I look, look how far I've come. Now, while this shift in perspective is helpful, living in the present is still a skill you have to master. A mental exercise to do this is to meditate. However, when I say meditate, you might think you need to close your eyes and sit under a tree. While that is a form of meditation and maybe even the purest form, meditation is any activity that brings you to the present. And you can do that through a variety of ways. Have you ever had practice and forgot about all your other stresses like homework or that you had a test tomorrow? Or been washing dishes and lost track of time? Or had a really tough workout and all you could focus on was surviving each exercise? You may have done this unintentionally, but next time you do any random activity, be intentional about being present, whether it's practice, a workout, or even brushing your teeth. It may seem unrelated, but if you can learn to be present while brushing your teeth, you'll be better able to be present during crunch time of a competition. Understand that the future is undetermined. The past is already determined. The present is all you can change. So be present.